Hey everybody, hey fam, I hope that you're well, it's a girl. Just been walking out and I can't believe I have the gym all to myself today. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm not complaining fam, really not complaining. I trust that you are well. So I'm looking for a spot to sit. Let me see where I can sit here. <laughs> Ooh, we to God be the glory fam. Let me try and wipe my camera. Whatever. I think it looks okay. So to God be the glory, I just had a nice workout. Had that right there. No, that one where they were the blue bottle is. Girl needed to work out because the Lord be like, sis, you're gaining a lot of weight, sis. <laughs> Can you be the time? God was like, you're gaining a lot of weight. So um, this is just a motivation to somebody. Listen, I know life can be busy, it can get crazy out here, but work out there's, there's, there's a reason why the lord has that verse in there by apostle paul saying that physical exercises will benefit to us but spiritual is more so than physical but we still need to physically exercise so i'd like to encourage you that start small because i had been exercising a lot in cape town came down the site to the u.s and the girl got lazy and started eating a lot so yes i've picked up maybe a dress size so too but i'm trying to address it but i'm not going in there coming out there like bald you know at the athlete I'm just really taking my time in that. So to God be the glory is giving me the strength to be able to do so. So start small, even if it's five minutes around the block or if you go to the gym, just five minutes on the treadmill, five minutes on the bike. The key thing is to start. And uh, for me, it's a lot more harder now because I have to go back to that rhythm, but I'm committed to do so because my jeans don't wanna fit. Now ladies, you know what I'm talking about when I say your jeans don't wanna fit. You know the jean that you like and it's like you have to jump as you're trying to fit in that. I'm having that situation right now. I'm like, ah, I can't do that. So anyway, to God be the glory. I'm going to be teaching on God's Hara mission fam, right? Uh, maybe in a two hours or so, because from here I'm going to have a shower, settle down, have something to eat, and then drop the word that the Lord has been brewing in my spirit. And he's basically saying that in this season, in this era, know that your balaks and balams, <laughs> your balaks and balams, the Lord is addressing them. They are under some severe judgment from the Lord. We'll be reading from numbers 22 through 24 um, but i'll try and shorten the message as far as i can but we check out to follow our god's Hara mission page we also have a youtube channel at, at god Hara, at, at god's Hara mission my tongue though and also instagram but most of the teachings they are on the facebook page and then again um on youtube you'll find the same thing depending which platform you prefer so that's the word that the lord has been giving me that for those who are in Christ, those who have been going through it, you know, because God is in the business of revealing those Balaks and Balams, okay, um, to you, you will know who that is in your life, but know and understand that they are being addressed, heavily addressed, under a heavy hand of God's might and judgment in this season. But keep on praying, stay, you know, praising the Lord, giving Him all the glory, honoring Him, worshiping Him in spirit and in truth. He will not let you down. Definitely not let you down. And again, please put our brothers and sisters and those who are seeking the Lord on this side of town um, in Texas. I think it's West Texas. There's a lot of flooding happening in that area and other parts as well in the U.S. And of course, in the is it Saudi Arabia, I think Saudi Arabia and Brazil as well. That's as far as I know, because I hardly watch the news because I'm up and down. But please put, you know, just keep on praying for, for the Lord's hand to really be over his children and to save others out there who may not know who the Lord is, but... Um, Perhaps this is one way they are going to find out. So pray for the nations of the world. It is not God's will or wish, or it is not his will rather, not wish, his will for anyone to perish. He wants everybody to come to the knowledge of the truth, who is Christ Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. So keep everybody prayed up. Pray for the country of South Africa. They are going to be soon. We are going to be soon, but I won't be able to vote because there's like three states where I can vote and I am about to fly to New York to cast my vote, you know, so you all need to vote <laughs> on my behalf. But I had already registered before I came, but... I know that if I'm not mistaken, it's the end of May 29th or the 17th, I'm not sure. 29th, I think, is a voting day. Please go out and vote, fam. But pray, 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 pray that the right man who's appointed by the Lord is the president of South Africa. So pray for our beautiful country, our beautiful continents, continents, not only the continent of Africa, but other continents too. Um, because, yeah, the Lord is soon coming, and these are the beginnings of the birth pains. Um, he did say we'll hear rumors of war, you know, um, we'll hear nations will stand up against nations, earthquakes, floods, all of these things are there in the Bible. The Lord spoke about it, but we are not supposed to be governed by fear, but to know that He's with us until the end of age. But in the meantime, we are told to occupy. So wherever the Lord lands you, <clears throat> wherever the Lord puts you, 
just know that you are you know you are called to occupy so occupy the land with boldness occupy the land with conviction don't be scared to find to, to be intimidated by what the devil is saying the devil is a, is a soul loser he's already a rap he's a done deal he's gone with the wind on the way to the abyss and we're not going with him there you know that's all i'm saying so yeah within an hour or two i'll be jumping on god's hara mission if you missed it it's fine i think the time this side is 11 30 a.m i think it's late at home what time is it at home i don't know probably around seven or eight i don't know guys i'm still learning this thing okay <laughs> of getting the time right so i'm gonna stretch probably do you know a bit of bicycle and then um stretch um from there but there is one machine though i don't know guys who goes to uh virgin active but i had never seen this mega papa over here i don't know maybe you guys have but i haven't but i'm gonna try it anyway yeah and see how that goes but it's really nice having the gym all to myself this is the best time to come out to the gym <laughs> i'm gonna lie in this facility it's actually very nice in fact i've i haven't seen anybody in the gym around this time i guess people are at work and stuff but uh you've got all the glory fam but do go out and work out take a walk go to the park walk around your house i don't know do some aerobics at the back skip you know buy yourself a skipping rope do something because where the lord is gonna put you you're gonna need to be in good health so do take care of yourself you know don't um don't let this temple of God not be taken care of. Eat right as best as you can. Ask the Holy Spirit. He's your dietitian. He's a personal trainer. He'll guide you, you know, because he called me out. It's like, sis, I don't know what's happening right now. You're out of breath going up the stairs. You're out of breath going down to the car. What is going on? So I just want to encourage you that start small. Don't put yourself under pressure and allow your body to lead you. You know what I mean? Because God will guide you. He will change your diet. He'll tell you what to eat and uh, he'll give you the wits about it. He's the best chef in the kitchen. So you want to cook with the Holy Spirit. So that's just one word from me. Just a word of encouragement and con don't forget to pray. Pray for the nations of the world. Stay in prayer. Stay in the word of God. Continuously pray and seek his face. The days are evil and the days are cut short. Um, but thank God that Christ Jesus is coming back. But in the meantime, we are called to occupy. So with me, Chaman Sahaychi, on behalf of God's Hara mission, don't forget to follow us as well. Um, you're not really following us. You're following Christ Jesus. But be a part of the community, if you know what I mean. We don't do followers or subscribers over here. We're not hungry for that. We are hungry for God to have his children united back to him. That's what the mission is about. All of us, you know, going back to the Father where we all belong. Nobody's designed to chill in the abyss with Satan. We are supposed to come, to go back to heaven because we are from heaven. Did the Bible, does the Bible not say that children are reward from God? You were a child before, okay? If you're an adult like me, you know, going into the fossil era. <laughs> Maybe if my daughters call me a fossil, the nerve. But um, nonetheless, you know, a girl is going to be 40 this year, but it's okay. It's, you know, I'm aging gracefully, but um, this is just to say that, you know, take care of yourself, take care of your family members, be strong, eat right, you know, lead lives that are holy, that's pleasing unto the Lord, keep sin at bay, and keep yourself prayed up. So with me from God's on our mission in the beautiful city of Texas, May the God of glory watch over you and yours as I play the blood of Jesus over you. May he surround you with his consuming fire. May you always be on top, never at the bottom, always the head, never the tail. May you receive favor in the sight of God and in the sight of men and know that with God all things are possible. And in him and um, in Him we move and have our being. And when you have God by your side, there's none who can be behind you. Oh no, hi Tornado. <laughs> I have the Holy Spirit on that one. I thank you for the offer, but no, the Holy Spirit is definitely training me. Um, I've never trained, you know, with a personal trainer. I just kind of like follow the lead, you know, of how the Lord wants me to do this. But um, yeah, maybe you can offer that to somebody else as well. I'm sure they'd be really grateful. Um, but yeah, I'm always out here looking for tips, fam. If you know the best exercises to, to firm up the muscles, you know, to if you have ideas of what else can a person eat, you know, hey put it on the comment section and let me know because i'm always out here trying to, the, to do the best in terms of that um yeah so just a word of encouragement it's never too late to start if you've never exercised before um yeah your body is the temple of the holy spirit so let's 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 do our best to take care of it you know what i mean so that's just the word out here so take care of them um you catch me in god's mission in an hour so may the lord bless you tremendously you and yours